American special forces train Ugandan soldiers to prepare crates of supplies that will be parachuted into the jungles of the Central African Republic. Joseph Kony, leader of the Rebel Lords Resistance Army, notorious for abducting children and forcing them to kill their parents, and indicted by the International Criminal Court in 2005, is being hunted there by the Ugandan army. The US military assistance is to help the Ugandan soldiers tracking him down. This is a technique of how you pack your food so as you are able to supply your forces on the ground without having to detract them from the tracking routes. So if, even if there is no clear area for the helicopter to land with the food supplies, they can be airdropped and they still they will land intact. The US says that while the majority of its troops are in Uganda providing logistical support like this, a smaller group, fully armed, helps Ugandan soldiers with coordination efforts in the bush. They are not there to be uh, directly involved in any kind of uh, uh, pursuit of altercation with the LRA, but they are there to be able to defend themselves and equipped accordingly. The LRA's victims have suffered for decades. Isaac hasn't been able to walk for 10 years since the LRA shot him in the leg when he was a boy. He's among the lucky few. He's just had surgery to remove the bullet at this charity hospital, and he's glad that the hunt for Kony now has more U.S. support. It's taken too long, but now they are here, I hope they will get him. The U.S. provided supplies in 2008 to help the Ugandan army's Operation Lightning Thunder against the LRA after peace talks failed. Kony fled before the first airstrike. The offensive pushed the LRA further into the bush and the rebels responded by massacring hundreds of civilians. Both the American and the Ugandan militaries say they've learned from the past operations, but it's still to be seen if America's increased involvement will actually help to catch Joseph Kony, one of Africa's most elusive and brutal rebel leaders. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Entebbe Air Force Base, Uganda.